Hi everybody, this is Robin Moses. I am here with Nameless and I am going to show you something amazing. Here is her color. Let me sh let me zoom in. Now, of course, my light decides to go out, but I hope you guys can see pretty well that this is the color that's going to be um, given away by me on uh, Valentine's Day 2017, but also is available at MDJ Creations. She made me my own collection of nail polishes. So this is Namelesses, and we've started this design with a, with a clear bottom, and then the tips are done in green. And I have all of these paints given to me by um, Wildflower Nails, and I am using Kisses and Pansy and Powder and Spring tangerine and cocoa. Now, and with the lighter purple, oh, I'm sorry, let me do some leaves. So I have the, the, the yellow, the green, and some brown mixed together, and I added a little bit of orange, and the orange turns it into a khaki. So I, I'm messing around all in these areas to give all different definition, all different colors of green. So here's one, and you'll see how they pull up the the, the colors kind of pull up on the the glitter and the. So I top coated it once to see if that would stop it, and it didn't. They still are pulling up a little bit, but that's okay. It gives it a certain quality that that nothing is wrong. Nothing is wrong. It just. It just doesn't cover exactly how you think the first time. So you have to work with it in order for it to cover correct, like all the way, not correctly. So how do you like your color, Nameless? It's so pretty. It's shiny, it's yeah. green, it's me. It's beautiful. I like it. Evil Client has her color too back there. She's seen it. <laughs> We're gonna be using it today on her tutorial. A little bit. I have an idea for you though. Do you? A little bit, yeah. I don't know if it'll be a full tutorial, but I'm gonna. I have um, one that I want to do, if I've, if at all possible. Cool. So now I'm going in with a light purple. And okay, here's where you might see it happen. Dun dun dun. dun. So I'm gonna go in with my brush, touch touch down to the side. Touch touch down to the side that. See see how it's kind of like shrinking and turning into little bubbles? I don't know if it'll show it all the way. Here we go. Let's do. It really does it on the um, glitter. So I want you guys, anybody who's struggling with paint and you're trying to tell me something, you're like, Robin, what is this doing? That's why. Okay. See how it's starting to fray and bubble a tiny bit right there? You want to go in and make it a little bit thicker, push in again, and just cover again, let it set. When in doubt, use more white. Was that an ant? was <laughs> she she picked an ant off me and blew it I was incognito about it though bro. I know I felt it cry I felt it crawling and I'm like what the heck is on my arm I hope it's not a big old black widow or something no, and then all of a sudden it's <laughs> <laughs> like are we Buddhist up in here we are we didn't take its life <laughs> So there's the that. There yeah, it's on you now, evil client. Watch out. She blew it your way. I'll kill it. <laughs> Don't. Okay, so now I have the, the darker purple. See? See how it's like a little bit like, like, uh, well, um, I don't know what the dang word is for it, but I went in with a medium purple, secondly. And, of course, the medium purple is paint on paint, so you're not going to have any kind of pulling up with the, with the paint in the center. So, so you can go as quickly as you like. What I do love about these paints is that they're thinner than regular paints, and so you can paint really fast into the centers. It's real fun. So there's that, that. Go like that. Paint in the center. Then 
with a dark purple, that is this one. The, I had added white to it, so I'm using three stages of this color. One with a lot of white, one with a little bit of white, and then boom, the dark one. The dark one is going to pop these in the center the most. You can see how they're kind of um, see-through, but this is perfect for this design. I had done this design on you a while when we first started. Remember when we did the falling petals, uh -huh. the purple and green? Uh -huh. I wanted to do something like that again when I saw this purple and you and you picked the purple for the glitter and I was like no 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 what about purple paint with the glitter tips that would be awesome so thank you for reminding me of that you didn't even know yeah I was gonna paint uh, that's that's weed. my time to shine yeah <laughs> <laughs> when I don't even know and I just kill it you did <laughs> slate it <laughs> So, just in case I missed that because we're way close on that frame, I'm going in with the dark purple. And okay, so this isn't the most perfect light that I have, but it's the best that I have today and I'm going to work with it. So I hope you guys can see the vibrancy of this green. I'm going to let you show because you are a perfect shower. Anyways, um, I want to say thank you to MDJ Creations, of course, and um, I want to say that I love you guys so much. You guys have helped me so much this last month on Instagram and sharing and showing me stuff and just collaborating, and I am just so happy with this. So I just want to say thank you to everybody. It's been amazing, and so I hope you learned a lot from this. I tried to give some details about different paint consistencies and techniques and stuff, and just to give you guys more of an understanding. And I struggle too, and that and that it's just about working working it out and doing your best and having fun. So um, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday new designs to learn and share, and you can subscribe in the uh, bottom left hand corner on my face click it and subscribe to the channel or you can go to the flowers playlist on the other side if you click and i will see you back with more everybody have a great night bye bye, bye. evil client bye <laughs> <laughs> bye